Hi folks, my name is Tom Oz. I'm from a little town in western Minnesota, Granite Falls, and this is the Mystic Traveler. Uh, what we have here is actually a, a time capsule. Nothing's been changed since the original owner uh, bought the van raw and brought it to what it is now. Um, from then, being about my age, I, and still to, I, he needed to sell it to get money to buy a house and he brought it to a car show in the Twin Cities that my father-in-law was at, my father-in-law bought it. That's the condensed version of, of how it ended up in the family. From there, it was stored for 22 years with a total of 400 miles put on it. And then uh, he actually handed it down to my wife, his daughter, and it's been with us ever since, which was um, 2006, I believe. And uh, yeah, and we've just kept it in its, its original shape other than the maintenance that we've done on it, so. Are you telling me you keep it in a in an air conditioner? Yeah, a, a climate controlled shed, my toy shed. <laughs> so along with many other things, but that's that's where this stays now. Uh, this is the first time it's been out in public in thirty some years. Incredible. And here we are, Van Nationals. Van Nationals. Um, it's been exciting because there's so much enthusiasm here for the vanning industry for for this type of stuff. Mm -hmm. So it's been wonderful. We've met a ton of great people, absolutely great people. And um, so yeah, we're in the midst of our first national van in and and we're having a blast with it. Okay. And you were telling me something about the uh, the original owner showed up or something. Yes. Now, um, we've tried very hard in, in the years past to get a hold of Mike, the original owner and builder. And of course, all we had was a title, but no names, no, no nothing on it. Uh, my father-in-law has since passed away. Um, so we had no way to get a hold of him. We tried the internet and social media thing. And, and I was only hoping against hope that he would be here for this. And uh, lo and behold, he showed up today um, near tears in his eyes. It was, it was amazing. Uh, to meet him finally that, that uh, painstakingly put this together and um, for him to still see it in the original condition um, in near perfect shape yet so incredible now it's uh what did you say it was a 77 77 dodge b200 which is a three quarter ton with the 318 in it mm -hmm. and uh yes as you can see most everything he custom built himself so as you can see it has been named the mystic traveler since its original owner had it um, always been that we do a little shortcut and just kind of dub it the wizard because of the mur murals on it. Um, as you can see here, the, these rectangle headlights are not true to a 1977, but he custom did this to the rectangle instead of the round. This is a, a mirrored plexiglass grill in it. Um, moving up a little farther, um, the visor is actually handmade by Mike, the original owner. And then you get way to the top with, of course, CB and, and radio and also two uh, moon riffs in it, which are blue in color as well. Nice. Beautiful. And you get the wizard down here on the hood. Uh, continuing on to the curbside, we did have to put new tires on, but these are the original rims that um, that it was built with. Um, it's got oak running boards. The it, oh, by the way, the motor in it is completely stock with the addition of headers. So other than that, it is a 318 stock. Uh, the Muriel is actually painted by an artist named Sugarbrush, which is a she, and it was painted in Southern Iowa at a truck in in the middle of a hayfield. And since coming to the Van Nationals here, we found a lot of people that witnessed this being painted, said they sat around in lawn chairs, picking bugs off it as she was spraying it. Oh, and then the next day she clear coated it. Yeah. Wow. It did come back to, uh, to his hometown and they did clear coat it some more, but she did a clear coat on it as she was, was painting on it. Uh -huh. And as you can see here, it's a signature of, oh, yeah. the, of the artist, and it's 1980. Nice. And then you get the 
the back here with some etching on it, I see. The etching is actually done by by uh, a good friend and uh, club member of Moon Units is where this van was from. Mm. So the Moon Units always had somebody that was really good at something that they put all their talents together and build these things. Mm -hmm. So that's hand etched by a gentleman by the name of Gary. Going to the rear side, um, another Muriel and of course the signature. It's, um, it's custom tail lights, mm -hmm. uh, diffuser behind it and whatnot for the, uh, the spread of the light within the, the backup lights are no longer up here. They, they custom made down here. Oh, okay. So these are the backup lights. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, that's, uh, that's pretty much the outside. Yep. She is one pretty van. All right, now we're going to take a quick look at the inside here at the driver's side. And all the upholstery is matching, um, all tucked by people from the, the, the Moon Units van club. Mm -hmm. And of course, shade carpeting. Oh, yeah. Wouldn't be complete without that. All right. Wooden steering wheel. This apparatus here is an eight track and cassette, it turned into a cassette um, holder mm -hmm. that's under this cover, oh. all, all handmade. Oh, okay. So they slid in here, of course. Mm -hmm. So that's what that is. As far as the console, everything is at hand up here. Mm -hmm. um, a little storage compartments behind these mirrored doors. And of course, your sunroof. Um, padded dash, he did, of course. And it both, that looks like both the seats are on swivels? Both, both, both seats will swivel mm -hmm. for the back. Yeah. Moonroof up there, sunroof, whichever other yep. people call it, either or. <laughs> Very cool. on, on the interior mm -hmm. of the back, now we just got done showing it, so it's actually set up for that. Mm -hmm. But here again, every, everything is the same. The, you know, the, the seats are all the, the tuck. Um, it was designed for only a couple things in mind. Yep, partying. Partying. <laughs> uh, and then, of course, we go back to the to the bed area. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. So you got a master switch, mm -hmm. and then you just keep turning switches on. Oh. And and you know we get lights up in here. Oh yeah, yeah. And all, all the way through the thing, um, it's lit up with little button lights. Mm -hmm. Now I I've turned everything to um, LED. Yeah. Just because. Yeah. We can. Yeah. Just because we a lot can now. Yep. <laughs> This is a regular, what is that, that's an ice box there, and then you have That's a actually, in front for extra. Yep. Actually, this is an ice box that, that I found. It's a 1952 thermos that I actually did. Oh, That nice. was my addition yeah. to, this, uh, okay. to this van. Mm -hmm. Yes, and it's got the ice box, and it's painted and signed. And you got storage over here. Storage so there. Dash, dash plaques there for some different truck yep. ends. Yeah, yeah. Yep, on both doors. Mm -hmm. Um, that is just storage up in the top. Okay. And that's all lit up as well. Um, oh, incidentally, all the pinstriping. Oh yeah, on the that's door, that's yeah. on the inside of the mm -hmm. is uh, done by an artist, which is signed as well. That was signed by uh, artist Shaky, and that was the same year in 1980. Radio down there too. I didn't see that earlier. Of yep. course, gotta have the CB, right? Gotta have that. Gotta have that. What you got? There? Okay. 
So this this is what he built to uh, store eight tracks and then later cassettes mm -hmm. in there. Yeah. And it, it actually folds up. Oh. And then, you know, you can get to your uh, an additional fuse box in here. Mm -hmm. Here you go. Ah, so. Great idea. Great idea. See, a lot of people get ideas from this. Love it. So, yeah, that's... Absolutely gorgeous. Very cool. So this is your first Nationals, you said? This is. This okay. is. This. Uh, we, we've kept this uh, under wraps. Um, it, it, there's, we have so much respect for this piece of equipment that it's just, um, we're, we're just uh, not afraid to take it out, but would just be crushed if something happened. Oh, yeah. So we've tried our, our best to maintain uh, it as it is, and we'll stay that way. Um, it'll always be in the family, so it'll go down to one of our kids, and, yeah. and hopefully that's the route it'll take. Fantastic. Until it can't take it anymore. <laughs> well, hopefully but, everyone will keep, keep it up. Yeah, that's what we're hoping. Yeah. That's what we're hoping. Nice. Although, don't let me fool you. I've got a lot of years of this in me yet. They're not getting it till I'm gone. How's that? I love it. Very good. All right, you're gonna show us the back now, right? Yep. And I'd uh, and like I say, we we had it set up for the show yet. We were just bringing it back to camp, but yeah, perfect. Um, of course, that's our uh, big part of our storage is underneath oh, there. Oh yes, under the bed, sure. And uh, and yeah, the the bedroom, as they say. Mm -hmm. Now, I've only been told this from people of way back mm -hmm. in the glory days of truck-ins, uh -oh. that you never wanted to wake up in this particular van with a hangover oh. <laughs> because the sun was so bright in there. That's <laughs> this is the original placard that was, was uh, featured the van at shows, um, explaining what's on it. A special thanks, um, Sugar Brush, uh, Gary Schultz, shaky those are a lot uh, the people that had a lot to do with what this van looks like now so